Smash 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 Smash. No, no, no. What are you doing? Are you leaving, Bayan? Are you fucking leaving? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even finish his sentence. <laughs> we'll be there, Trent. Yeah, we are characters. We are the characters, actually. I've been here for about how many seasons now? Three seasons. <laughs> and. Rams will, 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 will kidnap the ball boy and Rams will be the guy who like yeah, the champion wait 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 aren't you a bit old to <laughs> is it one of my favorite moments on this stream when they found a way to write a bigger message on the name <laughs> there's an intro Wait, wait, HH, what was this recording thing? The recording thing that was on StreamYard. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, your mic, your mic. Your mic is fucked up. It's... Oh my god. What is this? It's clicking sound, it's a clicking sound. Motherfucker, change your fixture with your mic. What? Hold up, hold up. Bro. Um, let me. Welcome to the hangout, everybody. the hangout, everybody. Okay, so I'm the host. I'm the host. The host. Uh, host AKA <laughs> the host. AKA the host. Nah, 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 nah. This nigga, nah. Good night, folks. Okay, so let's start with the um, Jao Felix goal. I mean, it it tells you a lot when this cuck who who can't you know you know he met up with his girlfriend again. Oh my god! The, uh, this Jeez. bum man, dude, have some self respect, man. The, the, this bum met up with his girlfriend again. He and then you know, just like just like I think last classical he had a. Oh well, okay. back. it's still bad. Oh, <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Nah, 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 nah. That cheap Nigerian shit ain't working, man. Go out and buy a new fucking mic. Nah, nah, nah. What's that sound? It came for like one second and it just reverted back to normal. Okay, seriously, what the fuck is that? Dude, check your settings for your fucking mic. What the fuck? <laughs> no, what? No, it came for like a second. Is this the stream was still fucked up or is it? No, that's, no, that's no, we delayed. can't hear you. Okay, wait. Just what? What's that? What's that beeping sound? Okay, so AK, you can. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shout shout to Felix, man. I mean, he he didn't even clean cleanly connect with that bicycle kick, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, uh, do you, do you, do any of you think Jao's gonna show up in the classical next week? No. You, you know what's kidding, gonna right? happen? I don't believe I can't it. Promise you that. No, because um, that, that's what my that's what HH was saying. You know, he's gonna show up in the class. HH is an agenda <laughs> merchant, man. He loves he loves what's making up shit that will never happen. He lives in a delusional world. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. True. What's the difference what's between Joao and Harvard? Seriously, Where? they show oh. up. Oh, they don't show echo? up in big games. They show don't show up in the Champions League for knockout phase. They show up in Cadiz, on Volcano, and yeah, right, yeah. Samasi. What's that echo? Maybe it's from Black Sea. Yeah. Maybe. So it's <laughs> AK Football AK. Hut. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Barry, uh, Barry, as the uh, Barca fan in the house, um, uh, what, what do you do? You think Felix is gonna show up in the El Clasico? I mean, uh, I, I hope so, but even that, like the league is over. Uh, I think, yeah, Madrid is gonna win at that point. So, the, what holy is that crap! Sound? It's. Wait. I think is is it's best to leave and then try to fix it in the meanwhile because it's too. <laughs> Am I still echoing? Too effed up, man. No, I think it was Black Seal. Was that going? No, but it's gone now. Is it? Thank God. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, time, man. Thank you, time, man. Dude, it's clearly H H. H H. What the fuck is happening there? H H got killed. Hold on. One second, one. <laughs> Never buy Nigerian products, folks. This is what happens. Yeah, so uh getting back to Felix topic. Um Yeah, do you, Barry, do you think that no but even then don't you think that you know Jao Felix can show up, he can, you know, do something? I mean I hope so, but at this point, he's not in the starting lineup. So, so for example, when we're going to play PSG in Madrid, hopefully he can have an impact coming off the bench. Wait, wait. Uh, are you telling me that? Who is who's starting over him? Well, you have Yamal, then obviously <laughs> Lewa, and Rafinha. So. That's oh, our front my three. God. Oh, Rafinha. Yeah, you say Rafinha. Problem. Big goals, man. Two big goals. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Rafinha, man. He, yeah, he, shout out to Rafinha, man. The do rag Shout out to Rafinha. Bro, what is going on with this guy, Mike, man? Yeah, I don't know, man. You, you know this. You know this. Every time he's Every on, time there's an echo. On, there's echo. He's taking his time right now because uh, that mic was crazy. Uh, I'm not from Felix. Is also Freddy echoing. Is also echoing. Yeah, but uh, apart from Felix, let's be honest, bro. Uh, let's talk about the Kubar C guy because it also, I, I, he's genuinely like, really good today. Yeah, yeah man. shout out to yeah, Kubar C, man. I, 17 I need to give him props. You know, you know. Uh, how are you? How are you doing, man? Yo, how's hey, Mike now? How's Mike now? Hey, let's go. Finally, it works. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. The thing was, was breaking up. Yeah, but there's right. two half hopes right. now. I know. I know. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me remove yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that you motherfucker. Take your time. Take your time. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, what's that echo? I think it's Black Seal. No, it's sure? from Black Hope. Every time he's on, there's an echo. You sure? Because right now he's muted. Both of the accounts are muted. Right now he's not even on the thing. Yeah, so it's not a change. So is this echo still? No, no, you're good now. Yeah, it's I good. It's Basically, that's my computer just it's 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 bricked up. So for it some happens, reason, when it happens, it happens. That could be, so people call me how have did yeah, look guys? Sorry, look, I just think that my, my computer just it's just, it's F top, bro. It's F top, it's F top, F top. So let's <laughs> let's let's start this again, but let's start this again, but so 
let me just open up everything. So basically, you know what it is? I just think that um, something wrong with my computer there, my, my computer F-top, my, my other brick MacBook. So look, let's start this again. So it's been a crazy day. <laughs> my computer bricked up. Um, Dreezy finally responded to Kendrick, and we might be about to go into World War III. Are you sure? Hold it. Uh, are we sure it was Dreezy? Like yeah, no, no, it is. It is. It is. It's confirmed. It's crazy. Oh, and also, yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, Iran have started an attack on Israel. So, yep, it's 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 getting very real, man. It's getting very real. So, okay, so so guys, so wait, so basically, let's just talk about the We're going to talk about Barca. Um, we're going to talk about Barca. We're going to talk about Felix. What Felix has done for Barca. I actually want to talk about Coco Bassi because Javi did make a mention about Kobasi, seventeen years old. I want to diverge into Ten Hag and Man United. Tremendous crazy goal, Tremendous missing for Real Madrid in the second leg, and how much of a miss Tremendous will, will be for Real Madrid and Kingsley Coman out for the rest of the season. How much could that impact Bayern ahead of the second leg of the UCL, man? So, <laughs> yeah, no, no, so, 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 when we guys, when we're back here, like the bill, um, subscribe if you do, do all the beautiful stuff, man, and please feel free to send in the super chat. Remember, your super chat under the Binskis, they help to keep us growing and keep us well and alive, bro. So, all right, so let me so let me just hit the stream marker right here right now. So now here's the thing, guys. Um, Jao Felix, your boy Felix, he, he gets a lot of hate. Your boy Jao Felix gets a lot of hate, yeah, man. Um, and I and reason. I think it's unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate with how much hate the guy gets. Is he, is he a quality footballer? Yes. Anybody who denies that you just hate it. Has he shown that on a consistent level? No. I'll admit that. Based on how good he is, based on how talented he is, he's not shown that. But to now deny that this guy is a talented player is ridiculous. And that's goal. An overhead kick. Mr. Guys, if you can't be a great player, and you can't be a crap player and score an overhead kick. You can't. I'm, I'm sorry. You can't. Like, only people who... The overhead kick is one of the hardest skills to perfect in football. And the fact that he was able to, to do that, you can't hate. I'm sorry, you simply cannot, cannot hate. So, my thing is, give Felix love. It, it was a winning goal. It was a Rivaldo-esque bicycle kick. And he has shown that, put faith in him, he can deliver. All people need to do is just put faith in him. Because, guys, I'm, I, I promise you, if you put faith in Felix... If you give him the right role, the right support, you believe in his ability, this guy can cook. I believe that this guy can cook 100%. Man. So, Barry, what is your assessment for Felix as a player? I mean, it, it was a great goal today. And he, he won us the game. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean much because the league is over. Barry, Barry, what do you talk about the grand scheme? Just about the game in specific, man. Why? Who, who cares about the grand scheme of things? You're not winning the league. I mean, I, I do care. I mean, because, you know, we, we lost the league. It is what it is. But, you know, I care, man. All right. Yeah, but the player, he's a very good player. There, there's the talent, but there's a reason why he was on the bench because he couldn't produce consistently game after game after game. He had moments this year for sure, but consistency is important in today's football. So, but like, I don't know if we're going to pay the fee to get him uh, for next season. I don't so, know okay, so, so if you're making the decision, would you pay the fee or you'll, or, or you'll be now? Uh, it, it depends what Atleti gives us. Like, if it's not that much, wh why not? But if it's like uh, 70, 80, just to get some kind of money from that uh, original deal with Benfica, maybe it might get tough. But I would keep him just because, like, you want to say no to someone like that who can contribute to your team. But if it's too high, especially with our financial situation, I don't think we're going to bring him back. Um, AK, your assessments on um, the licks. I mean... It's funny you say to him to keep faith. Um, he kept faith in his girlfriend and she cheated on him three times. And he still keeps faith in her. I mean, that tells you everything about the cuck. So, um, about At least that, it's like caca, bro. Yeah, uh, and the caca's yeah, unfortunate. unfortunate. Caca's unfortunate. But um, footballing-wise, I mean, I don't understand why you think this bum is a quality player. AK, 
Can I bomb score an overhead kick? Yes or no? I, I've seen Jose Lu score an overhead kick. No, he has not. That, you, you're Jose lying. See, see, Aki, now you're lying. <laughs> Jose Lu has never scored an overhead uh, uh, kick. Uh, uh, Jose Lu scored an overhead kick uh, against Man United. He did. He did. He did. And his overhead he kick did. was better. His overhead kick was better than Jao Felix's. That's a lie. But and he did. God, Nacho is trash. He scored an overhead kick. Oh, my God. This. <laughs> <laughs> what all, no, 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 but okay, okay, so you are your only statement as Joe Felix as no, a player is a bomb. H-H, I remember you said this before the El Clasico, a game before the El Clasico, Atletico, Atletic Bilbao versus Barcelona. Joe Felix has a good game, you gas him up to the high heavens. The next week, he has El Clasico and he gets pocketed by Danny Carvajal. So please don't, please don't bring me this Felix prop again. I want him perform in a big game, then I'll talk about Felix. Perform in the next El Clasico, then you know what? I'll praise you. I'll, 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 I'll be like, yeah, you showed up. I'll be like, yeah, you showed up. Wait, 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 Black Star, I think you may need to tone down your thing because there's, coming, there's an echo coming from you. Yeah. Black Star from you. Okay, AK, continue. Okay, wait. So, uh, what is your point here? Like, e- even as far as overhead kicks go, the guy didn't even connect with the ball correctly. Oh, okay. Is this, this is what we're doing nah, now. This is what please. we're doing now. No, okay, no, okay, no, hold no, up. So if he's definitive against PSG and Real Madrid, which are the next two to two games, will he change your team? Yeah, to a certain extent. Because I mean, the way... To a certain extent. So, yeah, so if he's no, pivotal against PSG, a- a- UCL quarterfinal, pivotal against Real Madrid, El, El, El Clasico, HH, the way you gas this guy up, I expect him to be the best player in the world. The way you gas him up. I don't gas oh, him up. I just, yes, I, no, do. I don't I gas him up. Yes, I'm do. just, yes, just, just giving his props. Yes, you do. Yes, give you him do. his props. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You, you gas him up to the high heavens, man. You have you gave you gave him a bad bigger football eye test score than fucking Tony Cruz. That shows that you gas him up. So, <laughs> you understand, HH? <laughs> so here's the thing, HH. I've heard this from you before. The next game he doesn't play well. The next three games he doesn't play well. And then he plays well for one game and you gas him up and the next three games he doesn't play well. Let him be consistent. Show me a level throughout one season where you're operating at a top class level. And I'll say, yeah, you've achieved your talent. You're a good player. You're amongst what HH. You call this guy the best footballing brain in the Premier League. He was. He was. He was the best footballing no, he brain. Wasn't. Footballing brain. Footballing <laughs> brain. <laughs> he doesn't oh, have okay, a brain. So, 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 Sebastian, what are you, you saying, my friends? Does he deserve all this hate and abuse after scoring an overhead kick, which turned out to be the winning goal against Cadiz? I don't think it's abuse. It's just you overhyping and be saying he's not that great. He's not that good. Good. You know, I was on the Felix train. I thought it was because of Simeone and his tactics. Then he went to Barcelona, and he hasn't changed. He hasn't gotten better. He's inconsistent. He doesn't show up in big games. Has he shown up in any uh, UCL knock? Knockout game. There's still time. 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 He got replaced by Rafinha, who's a fake Brazilian, and a 17-year-old Yamal. HH, it's bad, dude. It's bad. He's staying on the bench. And by the way, scoring an overhead kick against Cardiff doesn't impress me, okay? So, no. Against who? Cardiff. It was a good game. From him, but that's it. All, that's all the uh, respect he's gotten from me. He has to show up in the UCL knockout uh, games, okay? He has to. Um, what's it called? Uh, Black Seal, talk to me. Is there an echo, though? No, no, it's better now. It's better. It's better. All right. Dude, Joao Felix pisses me off. I think he's the type of player who pisses everybody off and pisses every manager off and would get anybody fired. I've said this before, I'll say it again. He will get you fired. If any of us were a coach, he's... Look how he plays one week and then look how he plays the next. His inconsistency, sometimes his attitude, is his downfall. So he... Yes, he's a great player. Yes, he... And bear in mind, when Atletico Madrid signed him, I was happy for them because I saw him... You know, during that Europa League, well, well, where he scored a hat trick. 
what the hell happened here? But anyways, I, when I saw him score a hat trick, I thought, hey, you know what? This is a guy who I would love to see somewhere big. But nah, unless he shows up on Tuesday and next weekend, I don't buy this shit. Period. Well, he's been kidnapped, man. He's been kidnapped. This motherfucker. <laughs> he's been kidnapped. I think um, Rachel broke uh, into the house. HHD, HHD, HHD. Hey. HHD, like, what's going on, bro? Wait, wait, what, 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 what happened? Did you get what kidnapped? What the fuck do you bro? mean, what happened? Your ass got motherfucking kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No, I'll just do some sort of the background. Continue, 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 continue. Uh, but man, look, I'm going to wait until Tuesday and next week. Even okay, no, no, look, it's Tuesday. fair. It's fair. Don't, don't give him his love for, for, for his overhead kick that turned out to be the winning goal. Like, a guy oh, scores a winning goal, which is an yeah. overhead kick, and now no, no one wants to give him his credit. Bro, look, it's fine. Let's, yeah. let's, yeah. Fine. Yeah. let's see what he does against PSG. Keep hating. Okay, zombies is... So I'm talk not to me, hating, Phoenix. bro. I'm just questioning his consistency. That's zombies. It. Zombies. Can I go after the zombies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my zombies friend who plays youth soccer scored no overhead kick, HH. That's a lie. Did he, did he <laughs> score it against Kadith? No. <laughs> zombies, go for it. But no, I'm with Black Seal on this one. It, here's the thing. I'm going to give him credit for that overhead kick, which turned out to be the winning goal. But this, look, this is what I've been saying, that the inconsistency for me... I'm, I'm, that that's what pisses me off about Jao Felix. And then when it comes to certain games, like what today, he just shows up. But then when it comes to the most big games, he doesn't. It's it's like if he doesn't care. And another thing that I don't like about him is he just he just gives me vibes that he doesn't care. Because what? if you know HH, okay, 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 no, no, you know, let me land, 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 let me land. It's just he gives me vibes that he, you know, he, he he doesn't care, and it's like if you don't care, then why should we care for you as 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 fans? That's 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 what I'm saying. Look, he has the talent. Do, to, okay, look, look, could the same thing be said about Ozo? Could the same thing be said about Ozo? Ozil had that mannerism How where this guy doesn't care. Yeah, Felix no, 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 he just, no, he just said that he looks Dr. as Dr. if he doesn't care. Oh. Ozil was amazing, but the Bro, way that Ozil carried himself was like he didn't care. His, Ozil's about body language was as if he didn't care. I'm yeah, talking about on the pitch. Ozil, Ozil delivered the numbers, bro. Ozil delivered. Jao Zil, Jao Felix, he's not doing that. I'm talking about on the pitch. I don't care what you do off the pitch. I'm talking about on the pitch. Look, there have been numerous times where this dude doesn't doesn't show up, and that has been for every team, and it, and it shows by his body language. So I, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, HH, that I don't give you know enough credit to what credit to. A guy, a guy scores a, 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 a winning goal, bicycle kick, and this is a, like some I kind said, of a like roasting said, session. I Interesting. Credit. Like I said, yeah, I I credit. But at the end of the day, you know, where's the, where's the, where's the consistency? That's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like oh, I okay. said, give him the credit. Okay, 20, 24K, talk to me, bro. But I think, I think um, firstly, like anyone can score a freaking overhead kick, bro. Andy Carroll scored. Oh, no, not okay. Can Timo Werner score an overhead kick? Can Haaland score an overhead kick? Can Neon score an overhead kick? Jerry Jerry scored an overhead kick. Jerry scored a freaking scorpion kick, bro. Like these goals are like once in that's the How only time that everyone scores. Yeah, okay, but what? Okay, so I think everyone's being a bit harsh for someone that came on the loan for Barcelona. We're not paying nothing for him. Um, he's contributed for us. He's got like seven goals and three assists. He's not bad. He's not having a bad, like, horrible season. Like, I don't see this kind of like hate for someone like Ferran Torres, who's 60 million, does, does fuck all in, in games. And um, against like relegation fodder, obviously, uh, Felix, he shows up, but he's shown up in other moments. Like, we've, he's, he's, he's actually given us like, what, six points? If if you if you think about his he got he got us the winner in uh, the Metropolitano he's got us the winner today 
Bro, and then what? If we if we can get if we can bid around like thirty to forty million, I think I think that's an alright player to have for uh, rotational depth and um, bringing him in for Barcelona. I I don't agree with this kind of he doesn't care since he's been at Barcelona, bro. He, he was he was crying on just signing for us because no. But no it's like, like, really like, like, really he doesn't care, bro. Do you know how much he loves to, yeah. to be here? Especially what he did with the Atleti. And, and now he's, yeah, he's, he's also trying to bring Ibenola Silva. So if Ibenola Silva joins Barca, it'll be mainly because of him. <laughs> bro, he, he risked... Yeah, he risked... Like, that celebration at Atleti, he's risking his future, bro. Like, imagine if we don't sign him and he has to go back to Atleti. They're going to drop him straight into, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, like, his career is done. Bro. His career is done. So what I'm saying is... For what we what we are paying for him, like his salary and what he's contributed for our season this year, I don't see how you can. Okay, he's not like sensational. He's not sensational, but I I never saw his talent to be like upper echelon. He's not gonna be Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, or any of those players. He's gonna be like probably a band or two below that. But for if if we can say at the end of the season. He, he he gives us maybe uh, another big performance. How can anyone say for a lone move, for nothing, especially because we're broke, that he hasn't performed for us? All right. Okay, so wait, hold on. Let me, let me kill um, this Dubinsky's man. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Barry, go for it. Barry, go for it. Barry, what was it? Oh, no, just to respond to 24K and zombies, uh, like, Ferran had a good start of the season, but he got injured for a week, so, like, it stopped his track. But for zombies, like, um, I, I, I wouldn't say that he doesn't care because... Prior to joining Barca, it didn't go very well at Chelsea. And then he came back to Atleti, got slandered, and then he took the risk. Because Atleti, they used to pay him almost 300000 And then he came at Barca, he's not get, even getting paid 100000 So he's taking the risk of, of putting his reputation, football career on the line to join us. And he hasn't been amazing otherworldly, but he's done his thing. But I just want him to perform next week because we have two massive games, PSG. Mm. Now, classical, and he's going to have opportunities, so... I just want him to do well. Yeah, yeah I agree. We got, I agree. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me click the dogs. Hold on. Let me click the dogs. Shout out to Daddy Us, Jude Belly Wang, a secret Blasian PMP merchant. Hashtag zero tech. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, you really no, 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 um, no. Madrid for the sales. The dubs, man. <laughs> no, no, but just wait. Barry, just wait. We're going to roll up to Pep's crib with Nacho Cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. We'll get there. We'll get there. Stop, stop, we'll get there. Stop, stop, stop. We'll get there. Trust me. Trust me. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Madrid for the sales. As a World War One veteran, any advice for World War Oh, Jesus. Is there, is Guys, there he wasn't there, there, man. Yeah, he can wasn't you please there. Uh, name some advice? For what to do, sir? Yeah, now, it, guys, no, no, guys, Jose, do you think this is a first time? Do you think this person here has dropped a five dollar? Do- <laughs> this oh, is the first time I've seen Daddy hey. Ooze with a green. Wow, <laughs> this is the first time I've Daddy Ooze. He's got money, man. <laughs> I heard if I convert just two of my dubs into Naira, I'll be a billionaire in Naraland. H, if I were you, I'll take $3 and book a flight to Nigeria for a new mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Naira, like, Wait, but I was going to say, do you know how we're seeing Daddy Oos with, with green? It's, I, I'm so used to stressing Daddy Oos 199 blue that this even just looks weird for me, bro. But yeah, that is, I see. I've never seen him. He's leveling up, up man. man. He's leveling yeah. up. Latin Rosario, you're shameless. Um, LL, that track was all right, Brick. I think he's talking yeah, about yeah. the Drake response. That was I'm, good. I'm, I'm, that was I'm sorry, that good. was better than Kendrick's. I'm sorry, it was better oh, than yeah, Kendrick's. That was very good. That was very good. It's, no, because oh, yeah, cause, yeah, cause, cause, you have to understand, have you listened to the mastered version? No, no, that's first version. Hey, have you listened to the actual said, finished the mastered one, version? Like, was it the, the one that, like, academics? Really yeah, yeah, the one that academics was going crazy over. Like, yeah, that's, that, yeah. that's is the, bro, it's better than Kendrick's. I'm sorry, it is. Trust me, Kendrick, he has to respond. Kendrick has to respond. I'm sorry, he has to respond. He dropped, um, he, yeah. he dropped his wife's name. He dropped his wife's name. Yes. <laughs> so, place A. HH, you know even Jeremy Lynch scores <laughs> over Head Kicks for That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Jeremy Lynch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who, wait, who is Jeremy Lynch? He's from the basketball F2. player. Basketball player. Oh, the F2, the F2, I think he's talking about. All right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's keep it going. Um... Half hope snow bodies. Hoyland has more back shots from. Oh my god. <laughs> you see. Yeah, well, no, we'll, 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 we'll get to our friend. So, 
let's so okay so let's just speak very so last thing on felix if he performs against psg and real madrid he's, he's world class is that what we're saying no 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 no, 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 no. no. Wait, I thought that's what we agreed upon. That if he performs in these two games, he's world class. That's what you agreed on. No, that's what you no. were saying. That's what you said. Okay, what does he need to do to what does he need, need to do to prove that he's world class? What does he need to do? If he performs if he performs Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, zombies. What does he need to do? Zombies, zombies. If he performs well at PSG, get us a goal, a winning goal to take us to the semis. If he get a goal at the El Clasico, then hey. Everything I said, well, I take he's, back. I got think what, what he has to do to be a world class player. Oh, win a win a Champions League. If well, stop that, it! Stop it! Stop! No, zombie! Stop! No, it. No, no. Stop! Hey, hey. No, no. So to be world class, he has to win a Champions League. Like, come on, that's crazy! Yes. Stop it! Wait, what are they calling? Wait, where is they? Are, wait, aren't they calling, calling Kane world class? Kane doesn't even have a single trophy. Oh, They're calling okay, Kane world class. Okay, I don't. For him to be world class. He has to change that, that name on the back to Ronaldo, bro. That's it. There's no way this guy's going to be world class. There's no way. He's going to be like great, good player. That's it. Yeah. You, you, you guys are harsh, man. You guys I mean, are you hyped him up. And it's uh, Richard Hamza, see, if it was a player you didn't like, you'd mm. be saying what other, panel, what other panelists are saying, HH. We're racing Cadiz now. Don't need the F C H H on KDB and Kane. No, 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 exactly, no, no. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. No, Hamza. That quick question: Has KDB that. or Kane ever scored an overhead kick? Yeah, Kane scored an overhead kick. Kane did. No, a yes, full-on yes. bicycle like. Yes. Full on... Kane scored Kane an overhead has. kick. Yes, yes. Yeah, he scored. I, I against okay, against two in what game? I, don't, I, rem- I know Kane scored an overhead. I don't remember which game, bro. Ah uh, no 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 no! You know you can't say we scored. Well, no, unless you give me full on evidence. Tell me the game, the minutes, the the second, the millisecond. Then that's cap. Hey, did you did you watch the game though? Did you watch the game? Barca. Yeah, the Barca game. You know, no, no, I, I watched England, all that of the first time. England so versus Albania. Albania. Harry Kane scored over right there. Aka Albania. Aka yeah. yeah. Albania. Oh, you're the best No 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 no! Don't don't you dare! Don't you dare compare Cadiz, no, which is a Albania. top club, no, wait, 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 to wait, Albania. Top club. Let me talk about Albania has players from like Napoli, from yeah. Yeah, from Inter and stuff. Aka it's bro. Albania. Aka <laughs> stop it! It's Albania. Oh, Aka it's Albania. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. Okay, okay, so so now let's switch that. So sh- now, I refuse to believe this. That's so, fun. is Kubasi lying about his age? No. No. Bro, he must how do you know? Wait, wait, wait. So, 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 no. How do you know we're not lying? How, how do you know he's not lying about his age? Because he's not what? black or no, yeah. not African. So only Africans lie about their age. Wait, what? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does he have to do anything, bro? Kubasi, what are you trying to say? Smashy, what are you trying to say? Smashy, I thought you were you were with us. Wow. <laughs> he looks like. Wow, Smashy, that's messed up, man. Wow, so you're not going no. against the brothers now. That's crazy. Okay, no, no, fine. let All me right. talk. I, I think Yamal is 17 years old. The rumors are just bullshit, and I think Kubasi is also 17. Why would uh, Kubasi lie about his age? And by the way, he looks like a 17 year old. Just because he's playing great for that age doesn't mean he's not that age. And by the way, La Masia, what the fucking cheat code is, is that academy? I'm um, seriously, you know they're in financial ruin. They shouldn't be where they are. On uh, having that academy helps them so much because they don't have to buy. Actually, every player they bar- bought is a fucking bum. They should have <laughs> stick with. <laughs> no, 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 no. As I said again, like I, I put out the tweet, la, 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 like La Masia is go today. It is the best academy of all time. Like at a time I thought it was Ajax and then they sort of lost their way. But in terms of consistency, Barca La Masia might be the yeah. most consistent uh, youth not academy. La Cabo, not La Cabo, hey. Not La Cabo. AK, AK. Yeah. So, so that's La. I, I don't know what his real name is. La Cobham coined the term La Cobham. It's just freaking Cobb and that's it. We have produced two players, Riz James and John 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 Terry. Respect no gal, respect Mason Mount. Riz, who? It is. <laughs> it is. If they have just stuck with the academy, I think they would have been uh, financially in a better and actually on the feet also better. And wait, hold, wait. Um, hold on. Kalista, that's a warning. Kalista, that's a warning. Next thing is a yellow. 
Listen, oh, next is a yellow. Oh, next yeah. is a yellow. Next is a yellow. Oh, that's, 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 next is a yellow. She's she's over she's over 21. Okay, 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 okay. Barry. She is it? Okay, so hold on, Barry. Let me ask you this question. So hold on, Barry. So remember they delicked at 19 or we went crazy. Whoa, yeah, bro, look at what this guy's doing. And I eh. because Red's probably like most defenders they mature like they hit the pick like 28, 29, because it's really it's an old man's position. Yeah. Do you think that a guy this good at 17, he's going to get even better? Or do you think he could do like a delict where 2021, he now starts to break up a detail. No, this guy can actually just keep on being better because he's... I can't remember a defender. The last defender I can think of who was this good at this age playing in these games was Mald- Maldini. You know, who was like, as a teenager, I think Maldini was actually... Play- I think Maldini was in the 94 World Cup squad as a teenager. Yes, yeah, he was. Yeah. Yes, he was. So, do you think Kubasi could be like the next great defender if he's this good at 17? Yeah, the, the future is unpredictable, but uh, one good thing that's for Kubasi is that he has support. Yeah. So he has a uh, Araho Kunde. Christensen is going to stay for a little bit. So he has support, and it can be a, a great partnership for the future. So, yeah, if he, yeah, he will improve over the years. But um, it's a great thing that we have other good defenders that can support him, and then they can progress together and just build a solid backline for Barca in the upcoming years. So uh, the the future is bright for him. I'm excited to see what happens. Zombies, your thoughts, your excitement for Fogobasi. Do you think this could be your next? Your next peak, just no, your next PO rather, because I didn't really, really rate peak peak that much. So, uh, I think he can, you know, with years to come, like what uh, Barry said, you know, he got good defenders around him. So, it's like by him having that, that you know, what's that word, that experience and that you know, the knowledge, especially with Chavi, depending on what's going to happen this summer, whether he stays or he leaves. And you know, I feel like he can be, you know, the best defender out there. I could, I feel like he could be, you know, just like Araujo, <laughs> in a way, going for it. Okay, wait, 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 about the hey, the, hey, the bars. By the way, by the way, you forgot oh, that uh, produced what? Musiala. La Cobham produced Musiala. It's 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 <laughs> Cobham. <laughs> It's Please like don't Cobham. don't put the ladder. It's Cobham. Okay, Cobham. It's it's Cobham sponsored by Just from Musiala. Just from Musiala. Yeah. And, and, and Musiala is going to come back. So, Eki, talk, talk about the bars. Yeah, I mean, you've jinxed him already. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck against PSG, man. But, um, yeah, on Kubasi, he, he's a fantastic talent. I mean, it it's very rare that, like, you see centre-backs at that age, you know, slot into a team. And not just, like, he hasn't just, like, almost, like, fit in. He's made them better defensively. Like, yeah. They're not, they're, they're, they're far better defensively now than they were before. AK, he closed down a World Cup goal, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he closed down World Cup goal. He closed down Nigeria's finest. Um, <laughs> AK, there's, the AK, there's only one victor here, and he plays for Leverkusen, bro. <laughs> Okay. No, we are we are we are we're repping a new yeah, Vic. No, we're repping a new Vic. You stop yeah. repping um the semen. Okay, don't never say that. <laughs> Actually, ne- <laughs> next is a yellow. Ne- okay, never say that. So, never say that on stream. You rep the red for one other one. Yeah. Okay. So um, you stop repping. Hh, um, Nigeria has the greatest duo of all time, bro. Semen and Boniface. <laughs> okay, why is Nigeria standing, man? Bonnie <laughs> actually good funny. Black so that's a yellow. Black so that's a yellow. <laughs> Yo, AK, he wrapped the tornado warning. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, I think he, he he will do very well. I don't think he's like an Araujo type defender, that really aggressive type of player. I think he's more of he seems to be more of a PK type defender. Yeah. Good on the ball, good reading of the game. If yeah. he needs to be in a physical battle, he can handle it. But that's not his like a primary measure of you know defending so yeah he's a very good that mika yo five guy like i, I know they are, bought him people but, like, are really I, repping this this guy i i swear yeah, they yeah, bought yeah. him like I, is he from lama i swear they bought him i think they said they bought him yeah i think they said they bought him even then he's another young center back so but also have a good youngster base you know coming on that's it's the only way they can compete Wait, no, 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 no wink you know, you know, you started this, bro. <laughs> you're the you're the one who's like no, no, no. 
you started this. You're to blame for for this crap. Uh, so <laughs> well, in that picture is disgusting, bro. Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 it's a fantastic picture. It's just you next to Didi. <laughs> That's oh yeah, I mean, Eki, Eki continue, Eki continue. Yeah, Eki wait continue. a minute. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So I think um, for for um, mm-hmm. Barcelona, it's one of the few ways they can compete with Madrid, the squad that they're building, because obviously they're not in the best financial situation. So they have to bet on these youngsters from the academies to in order to you know build a very good team. So yeah, shout out to Kuba C. Yeah. Um, 24k. Yeah. The bars. Can you hear me properly? This yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know, because yeah, yeah, um, the streets were saying your your mic was going in and yeah. in and out. So, so yeah, but we'll go for it. Okay. Um, for Kabasi, I think, um, you know, the lick. I think the lick. He was a really good centre back, um, in his time period. But I think what the moves just ruined him, and also you know, if you look at the Ajax team now. Like where have they gone? Like a lot of them, they when, when they've gone gone to other clubs, they haven't really go, yeah. like. Gone yeah, so, I mean, mean Frank is a real player. Yeah, it's true. All, all yeah, of them yeah. are sort of like gone for the. But but yeah. he was probably the most hyped though. He was the yeah, most hyped out of that crew. And, yeah, and if you watch him, I think like he he is kind of the physical, you know, the physical centre back that relied a lot on his physicality and stuff. The difference I see um, between him and Kobasi, Kobasi is like he he reads the game he has great positioning um he's more of a like if like a, yeah pk ele- more elegant um center back and i think since he's his um start in the team he has the most forward passes and second to that is de Jong, so he's passing better than like midfielders in our team like with the forward passing ability he has and today he was up against like actual terrorism and he was like you know, they were playing Stoke football, like, just physical. And he, mm. he, he like, pocketed the, their striker. So, so basically, the you're saying he's the next Maldini. You're basically he's the he Spanish is, Ma- Maldini. Is, in my opinion, he's the Spanish Maldini, bro. He's the Spanish Maldini. Obviously, no one can be Maldini, in a sense, because the look at what he's won. He's, he's iconic, but... Hey, but, Wing, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> Yeah. You know I'm gonna throw wing gas, bro. So yeah. if okay, continue. Wing 24, crazy. continue. 24, continue. <laughs> yeah. So Kobasi, Kobasi for me, bro. It's just oh, but La Masia is just amazing, man. If we're producing talent like this, <laughs> we if we produce talent like this. We no, 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 no. Look, you have no. You have the goats academy, man. Hundred percent. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have to go to academy, man. But but also we have to we have to give the respect to Chavi for bringing these players forward. And uh, like he understands bringing these players from La Masia into the first team, and I think that's why we need to put a gun to his head or kidnap his family to keep him there another season. No, nah, that's nah, that's crazy. God, you know, we're not damn. promoting kidnapping, bro. God damn. Okay, so now here's the thing, guys. Um, I wanna I wanna ask everyone a, a question here, man, and anyone can jump in. Streets, please feel free to jump in. <clears throat> Is ten bags done at United? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred uh, percent. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, pretty okay. much, man. Is Minimum it his? Is, okay, is it is it his fault or is this yes. issue bigger than him? It's both. It's, it's bigger. It's, it's both. Okay, I hate. I told you, okay, we are sits here. I need you. I need to stick to an the answer. Either it's him or it's bigger than style. him. Boy, the uh, players that's were not hard. meant for him. Yeah, really what it is. No, 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 because we'll call it, okay, okay, here's my thing, okay, here's my thing. My thing is, okay, if if it's his fault, the next manager better come and be so, successful. Because we've been here before so many times. It's like, oh no, it's another manager, you hire one. Oh no, it's another manager, we hire one. Oh no, it's another manager, we hire him. Because my thing is that if you're now I'm not going to sack Ten Hag, you're now starting a whole new project now. So, my thing here is, look, I'll be real with you. Um, 2 2 against Bournemouth. You've received the most shots than. You're receiving more, more shots than a porn star, Samasi. I'm sorry. And the fact of the matter is, it's been a decline. It's been a, a decline. But all I'm saying, though, is, is this deeper than Ten Hag? Because, you know, the, the issue that people like to always say, oh, it's the manager, it's the manager, it's the manager. So if a new manager comes and this team is still trash, are we still going to see the manager? When are we going to see that? You know, Rashford is, is, is trash. 
Bruno Fernandez is a broken clock. Um, so remember, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the guys who were here before Ten Hag. So he said Ten Hag, you've got to take blame for Anthony, Hoyland, and all the guys you brought in. Bruno isn't his guy. Rashford is his guy. And Rashford, we understand well what that is. That is now a club made the decision. Maybe the real issue here is that these guys are just, are just trash. These guys are just trash. So, okay, so Aki, talk, talk to me. What's your thing on 10, 10 bags? I mean, first of all, um, <clears throat> shout out to Eric Tuhog. Um, I think um, here's the thing with him, boy. It's just this guy. This guy. Did you see his um, press conference? Wait, wait. What did he say? He walked out. What? Yeah, he, he literally walked out. He, like, he, didn't say walked out. he walked out. In the middle of the question. In the middle. Oh, of okay, the okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Did he answer a question or he just walked out around? No, the, the no. news anchor. Uh, I think the presenter like asked him a question about Man United's worst finish ever. He just walked out. He didn't say nothing. <laughs> he said, "I'm not answering that." Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, just, like, he literally that walked, walked out after that question got question got asked. Like, wait, so, 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 okay, so, 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 wait, why didn't he just do like a Marshall Lynch? Just say that, you know, but basically just, just don't answer any questions, you know. He's free to, to, to do I that. I don't know, man. Yeah, but... yeah, this guy just like, for me, first of all, United's players, I've told you about United's players, like, a lot of them are garbage. But again, this guy, it's your job as a coach to identify what's wrong with this team. It's your job as a coach to put the players that you bought in the best possible position to succeed. Number one, you know Casemiro is like the one midfielder there? You know, he attacks with six players and he defends with three. He literally, his midfield is literally Casemiro and Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu goes forward. How, Casemiro is your signing, yet you don't know how to use him properly. Apparently he's, he's you know, he's kicked out Anthony. Because Anthony asked for a starting position after performing once, uh, performing well in a game once, and he kicked him out. It's, okay, so, okay, sorry. Here's the thing, because he, he just put something in my mind here. United have to decide what they want. Yeah. This, what I think is, and it happens. It's happened to Moyes, it's happened to Potter. Ten Hag is not ready for this level to manage the, a team of this, of this level. Because going from Ajax to this, it's a massive step up. And he's just not ready to deal with the media, the pressure, the demands, the politics of a club of this stature. You don't need to deal with all this politics with, with Ajax. So, but my thing though is, if you're gonna hire a guy who is who can deal with this, who has the personality and the character, he's gonna be king. So you can't see, you can't have it both ways. You can't hire a big manager who has a personality and has demands, but then the, the the players can now overrule him, which is what happened with Rashford and all these guys. So my thing is that my answer what do you want? Because once you now sack Ten Hag, what is the direction? Is the direction manager is king, the manager says what it is, we're gonna hire an alpha, or what? Yeah, I think um they're they're looking at apparently Southgate. I mean Stop oh this. my god. <laughs> hold on, wait, they're looking on. at Southgate? Hold on, hold on. Wait, where's no. wait, wait, where's our Kelly man? Where's no. Kells man? Where's 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 oh Kells? Oh my god. Your South no you see that how you're your line. That has to be nah, they, 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 there's like media reports that Bro, South they will ruin Man United who, if they get South. Who game. makes these decisions, man? You, no. You see, you see that's you. your line. Hey, hey, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Go hey, for it. wing, please, wing. Yeah, wing, you wing. Think, bro. You... <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, just keep going. We could do zombies, right, right, go for right, it. Zombies, right. keep talking, zombies. But the question that you asked, whether it's Ten Hag or it's, how you say, the, the board, it, it, it's got to it's gotta start with up top because think about it. Years ago, before Ten Hag, there been this, there pretty much been like the same issues. Because it happened with Mourinho, it didn't happen with the coach before that. So my thing of it is, is that now by you getting by you having to get a coach, and then two, come to think of it, I noticed the number one problem with Man United is, is that they'll get players, but they won't get the players that the coach wants. They'll just get a player just to get a player. And that's what really been their most problem as of late, because I remember Tenha and speaking of him. He didn't want the players that that uh, that the Glazers got. Mm. 
he pretty much wanted, you know, other players like that were from was from different clubs. But I know damn well he didn't want uh, Casemiro. He didn't want Casemiro. Casemiro really? Was so you saying Ten Hag didn't want Casemiro? You know that? So you know for a fact that Ten Hag didn't want Casemiro? No. I, he, wanted, me, I, he wanted the young. He wanted the young instead of Casemiro. Yeah. But and and that like I said, that's that's the problem. They they get like a lot of players that the coach don't want. Pretty much the board doesn't back the board doesn't back up the manager. Like that's the num like really that's the number one problem. And then two with the manager, you know, the players that they have now, they can't do anything with that because they don't have the playing staff that the coach wants. So and, and, and I think, is, see, and I think that's the key. Sorry, continue, 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 continue. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. Done. Because I think the, the issue here is Ten Hag. You have to decide whether you are a good manager or a philosophy manager. Those are two different management styles. Is that you're a good manager or a philosophy manager? The idea of Ten Hag, I thought, was you're hiring a philosophy manager, and if you're doing you have to give him one of his players. You simply have to. You see, a good manager is someone like a Mourinho where give me anything, I'm just going to get a result. And I will grant that result whichever worst way I can. Ten Hag, coming from the school of Christ, school of Acts, he's a philosophy manager. And for a philosophy manager, you have to give them their place. Pep is a consummate philosophy manager, but Pep is in a privileged position where he has been with close to have the resources to be able to get the exact players that he wants. So the mistake was that Ten Hag was given, was because he didn't get the players he wanted, and specifically Frank Dion, who was key in how he wanted to play with the ball. It was like, okay, this is all I have. I've got a hot potato medicine known as Bruno Fernandes. I have to be Gid. And the issue is that Gid can only take you so far, specifically when you have a squad that is as trash as this. Because any United fan who's been real, these players are not that, that good. They're not yeah, they're that not, good. They're not, these guys are not talented at all. Oh no, nowhere near. But and that, and I'm glad you brought that up because see, with Mourinho, at least they won something. When Ten Hag, they didn't win shit. Oh, no, no, no. They, they, they won the Karabuki, Karabuki last year. Cup. The, the Karabuki. Karabuki. Well, yeah, but you would you really call? I put it like this: Would you really call it a trophy, or would you no. rather win, or would you rather win the Premier League? But but zombies, That'll you say this though. When I was on the on the terrace, United fans said that. Last season was a success. I was like, wait, hang on. I actually big, but United fans told me on the terrace last season that top four, no, sorry, third and the Karabuki, it's a success based on where they were before. So my thing is that yeah. if that was a, su a success right now and we are in this position, shouldn't Ten Hag be afforded like one misstep for a year? If you're saying last year was a success. Now, if last year wasn't a success and you demand the ball. Okay, boom, we have higher demands. But if you're saying last year was a success, which United fans told me, Fed and a Karabuki, shouldn't he be allowed a misstep? And also, keep in mind, most likely they will lose, but I'm sorry, they could potentially win an FA Cup. It's unlikely. Most likely City will win that, but they're still in an FA Cup semi-final. And most likely they'll be in an FA Cup final. So if we have a position where they come 7th, 6th, and they win the FA Cup, do you still suck him? Yes. Yes, you have to. Okay, okay, so you still suck him, but United fans said last season was a success. And see, and you know what? I'm glad you also brought that up too because, see, with the fans, it's, and here's the thing, the fans in the media, especially like the English media, I noticed they, they are like evil and that's and that has been the biggest problem for Ten Hag. Like I noticed when he first started, that he I guess he you know didn't do so hot, so that's why they really got on him. And that's what I said. Oh, we want Ten Hag out, Ten Hag out. And there's been a couple of games that he has been good at, but most of them been bad. And that's where you know the English media, you know, they not only gotten on, gotten on the Glazers, but more importantly on Ten Hag. And I think that's where the pressure is starting, you know, to unfold, you know, more on Ten Hag rather than the Glazers, rather than, you know, pretty much on the board. Because think about it. Media will get media will get to media will get to a coach like bad. 
Because mm. think about it. Think of what Chavi's going through because of the media. So that's 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 me. All right. So um, Black Seal is your mic working there, Black Seal? Yeah. No. Yeah. It is. So look, man. Um, Chomeni, winning goal, amazing goal, superb, amazing goal. I already know about Chomeni, but I think. For the discussion, I know we will be doing the UCL preview in detail tomorrow, but I thought we could even just look ahead and look at Tremeni here. So just look at now, Tremeni's record for Real Madrid is very impressive in terms of the matches that they've won when he's been playing. And look, he's been crucial. And I think that we just know how important he's going to be, not only for Real Madrid in the future, but for France specifically at this Euros. But my thing, though, is... How much of a miss is this guy going to be for Real Madrid? Because I feel like this is going to be a huge, a, a massive miss. Because for Truman, it's not only what he does defensively, how he can help Real Madrid in defense, but what he can also do with the, the ball, as we have seen in terms of his, his goal scoring. And whenever you have a player who is important on both ends for you, that is a critical player to have. Now, I'm not saying he's as talented as this dude, but just in for the sake of explaining Pogba, like, we never saw Pogba at his very best. And Chouameni will never be Pogba. Pogba is, was Two the most positions. talented midfielder of his generation. But the whole thing about what made Pogba amazing was that this guy was an all-round player. Pogba could defend, he could tackle, he could create, he could pass, and he could, he could, he could score, and he could decide a game by himself in, individually. So, Chouameni ain't that. But it's, it's, it's in the same kind of mold in terms of a player who is so crucial for you, both defensively and offensively. So, Black Seal, looking ahead to that um, showdown in Manchester, is, is the Chouameni loss pretty much considerable for Real Madrid in, in terms of like how much he, he offers Real? I'll say <laughs> pretty much yes. Based on how we've played this season when he's playing, He's literally a lucky charm. I mean, he is literally a lucky charm. So no love for, for natural play, cheese. So no love for na na natural cheese. <laughs> look, <laughs> natural cheese good, is bro. good if Germany plays. If Germany uh -huh. was playing, I'll say, play natural. Go ahead. Do it. But Germany is just so important for us. I mean, look, yeah, sure. We have Kamavinga who can also play as a DM. And to be honest... I feel like personally, I felt for some time that a double pivot of Tromini and Kamavinga could potentially, not maybe, not 100%, but potentially be as good of a double pivot as we saw with Cruz and Schweinsteiger for club and country, where both of them were so pivotal to both of our success. Relax. Where both Relax. Of our, yeah, I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> where both of us were so pivotal to to both their success that if one was missing, it was a problem. Mm. Now look, Kamavinga, I believe, can do the can do the job. But, you know, Chomeni is just so important because he can defend as a as a center back, he can attack, he has great shot power, he can sh literally shoot from anywhere. And oh, no, I no, like I'm, that's I'm, what we need most. Look at his goal against England at the World Cup. I mean, Jude still has nightmares from that. He tried to stop it. He still yeah, has yeah, nightmares. yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I mean, but on a real note, it's not looking good for us, HH, because, look, with Bellingham, this was always going to happen. The goals were always going to dry up. I mean, it was inevitable. He yes. couldn't keep this up. He, I told you, I told Hey, 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 we knew. Come on. We knew, Samasi. Come on. But, look, he, we bought him to be a midfielder, to be Modric's successor, not to be a bloody number 10. I like okay, wait, hold on, no, wait, wait. to score all these things. Oh, oh sorry. So, yes. Oh, so, so, who do you think Tremene is there to emulate? Casemiro. Casemiro, Casemiro Makaleli, you know, those traditional... Xavi Alonso, the Caderas, the traditional DMs that we needed to give us security mm. and to potentially stop uh, long-range shots, which has been our downfall. That's what caused mm. us to lose against City. I mean, I believe if Germany is in the midfield, 
maybe he stops them, maybe not, because at, at, you know some of those goals were just unbelievable. I mean, out of fucking nowhere, uh, Guardiola has just discovered he can shoot and can score yeah. like fucking Yaya Torre. How so, 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 so,
Well, you can you can change because you can do a double pivot with Camavinga or with Valverde or with Jude. I mean, it, it, it can be with anybody. Literally. That's actually a good midfield. That's actually a really and good midfield. And sometimes, and sometimes, so, okay, so, 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 because so you're saying like four three three, two at the base, and then the one that goes up. No, four three three. It, it, it depends be, be, because they're all so versatile. You know, Jude. Chouameni, Kamavinga, Valverde, they're all so versatile that they can do any freaking job in the midfield. It really but doesn't I, I, matter. I mean, this, because... no, no, but, but, but still, people have roles. Though, because even if you guys are versatile, it's like, the role Casemiro was, okay, I am the cleaner-upper, the, the defensive guy. Cruz, no, okay, I am okay. the central midfield who really is inside that central of the midfield. Modric, I'm the guy that now goes up and now takes no, the attack on the midfield. So everyone roles. needs to have a role. They had those roles because... Casemiro had to play the role that he played because he was a specialist. Chuameni is not a specialist. Chuameni can do the Casemiro midfield role. He can also, to a certain degree, do the Cruz role. Jude can do the Modric role, but also uh, uh, go up and score score some goals. Valverde could do any of the roles. Kamavinga hmm. could do Valverde the Cruz like role. Gerard. Valverde could do the Cruz role to a certain extent and Casemiro role to a certain extent. So, the, the positions are dependent on the traits of those players. Yeah. But these players have far more complete traits. So, no, no, I, you I know what? I, I, think, I think that's they, the key. I don't think you should limit them to a position. You know, I think that's the key thing about this new generation and them is like, that's kind of um, three Pete's Real Madrid. They were all specialists at what they did. And that's what we have to do. These guys, these guys are more versatile and they can do a lot oh, more things. It. What's it? More well rounded. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're more, they're more well, well rounded. In like Tony Cruz, he's a specialist. He can't, you can't play him everywhere. He's a specific specialist. Same thing with Casemiro, but with Chouameni, with Kamavinga, with Bellingham, these guys can go everywhere. So, and it's a plus and a minus. It's good to have a guy that's that's versatile because that means that for a manager, d- depending on how the game is, I can play them anywhere, especially for injuries. But the thing about a specialist is, it's a specialist. That means that I am amazing at this one role. So you know how they say like, um, jack of all trades, master of none. So would you rather have a guy who is a master at one thing or a guy who's just really good at different things? But HH, we, we, I think we spoke about this previously that the game is moving towards versatility and the ability yeah. to play multiple roles. And yeah. this is the perfect midfield for that. I mean, it's, 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 it's like, like, like where's Hamas Rodriguez? Where is Ozil? They, they don't exist now. Like those guys who are like specialists at positions that they don't have a role in today's football now. So Zoom is wasting about choo choo. Uh, yeah, t- yeah, testimony is going to be a, a big miss come that, uh, come the game against Mad City. Because, you know, like we all say, he, he's very, he's very versatile. So you could pretty much put him anywhere. And then he's, he's kind of like Casemiro, but in his own way to where, you know, like we said about the double pivot, where if, you know, say like for an example, he played the double pivot, that, you know, he could pretty much like sh- somewhat shut down the Man City midfield if it came to that. Mm. And then, too, with... What's wrong, Black Hill? That comment. I was pissed oh. off. I was pissed oh, off yeah, today yeah. At, yeah, 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 yeah. that he didn't rest Valverde. I, I did not understand yeah. that. Valverde has played every fucking game. Every yeah, fucking I know, I've game. I've noticed that, too. Okay, wait, so let's go for it. But, as I was saying, too, they could have, like I said, if he didn't get that other yellow card, I could see him somewhat playing the midfield more instead of the defense because, like I've been saying in the, past, in the previous streams where – when Man City gets their midfield, when they get that groove, it's nowhere stopping them. And I feel like Tetsu Mooney would would have been like literally like the killer of that midfield when he were to get paired with either paired with Cruz, Valverde, or Madrid. That would have really taken them down. But yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a huge mess. And then too, you know, the one thing I liked about Tetsu Mooney is. The dude can score. He can yeah. score killer goals. Like that oh, no, no, no. He has like, he, he, like, his shooting is yeah. damn good. His shot power is amazing. Like and, I said, he that, reminds me a bit 
a bit. Not a lot, yeah, a bit. He do. He do. A he bit, da, bit, he bit, bit. He does. He does. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. He does. He do. He do. And that's why I say, like, I feel like he'll thrive more on the midfield. Because, mind you, and I've thought about this too. If he were to play Bellingham's role, I feel like he will make he will make some he will make some good goals. So, okay, so what would the ideal Real Madrid setup be? Let's let's say so 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 Casemiro is gone. Camavinga has to Cru- be the holding Cru- midfielder. So, 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 okay, let's say yeah, Cruz yeah, and Modric are now yeah, gone. Camavinga has to be the midfielder. So, okay, so you're saying so you're saying Camavinga, Tremeni, Bellingham. That's the midfield three. Well, wait for Cruz for when for, for Wednesday, right? No, 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 no. no. I'm I'm, I'm saying long term. Long term. After oh, Cruz and Modric have now left. Long term. Yeah. Yeah. Tremeni. Oh. Well, uh look fuck that's because now wait so, so, so basically because i want to know who so, i want to know so, so basically when everybody is fit chris Modric is gone who is the starting 11 and who is the starting midfield i would say me... bellingham is the box to box definitely that's you got... his best position look but or, yeah but everybody there is literally box to box well, that's the thing everybody there no no no, 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 no but I think, okay, okay so who, who would the, who is the midfield three going to be street talks as well who will the midfield three be okay chomini for me has chomini for me has to be the defending the defending midfielder the double pivot yeah kamavinga once in a while should play as a double pivot with with chomini once in a while especially if some players get yellows and are suspended that's Pretty good. Valverde can easily play as a right winger. Valverde to me reminds me of Steven Gerrard. I don't know if about any, everybody else, but Valverde for me is the Uruguayan Steven Gerrard. He can play anywhere. So I will play him anywhere yes. he wants to play. Yes. Uh, you know, Bellingham, he's so versatile. He can play as a 10 or as an 8. But recently, due to his. I feel like I would rather play him as an 8 just so that he doesn't have that pressure of scoring goals and i think it will help him uh play to his utmost ability but you know because i because i do feel though that mm-hmm. look see bellingham played the offensive role just because yeah by of, default by default it was by circumstance by default. that is not his his, his position because yeah. my thing though is it's going to be interesting to see how the new real midfield is going to work because I don't feel Jude's position really is midfield. At best, it's yeah. like a number ten, just behind the striker. So my thing though is that what I want to know is that what is it? What is what is that new midfield going to be in a post Cruz Modric era? Are we saying Kamavinga and Chomeni? That is the midfield. That was the, the, the two holding mid- midfielders. You see, this is a good thing in the sense that because of their versatility, we can change formations. At times, mm. we could easily play a four-four-two. And have you know, let's say so, 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 so four for two diamond and four for two diamond or four for two normal, mm. like four for two flat. So, depending on let's say the let's say the attackers are Endrick and Mbappe or Vinicius and Mbappe or Vinicius and Endrick, the four holding the four midfielders can be all four of them. Mm. And some days you can easily play a four two three one with let's say Kamavinga and Chouamini as the double pivot and then Bellingham as the 10. And if you want to, uh, Valverde as the right wing, if you want to. But I would rather give him rest on some no, days. No, no, because, because I think and, uh, what's going to be interesting, because I think that's what I like, it's going to be interesting because I think AK made it point where football is now changing now. So what football mm-hmm. was in 2014 isn't what's going to be like in 2024, 2025. Because see, I'm still thinking old school. And so many even said, oh man, HHG also anything old school. Because my thing though is, who is the guy that's going to control the midfield in the way that Cruz and Modric did? Because Modric and Cruz, those guys who they can, they could have dictated the tempo of the game. Look at oh, Modric, who's a Jerry. Like look, it's, a it's like, look at what Modric did when he came off the bench. I just look at how he was just really engineering things and just no, making things happen. That comes with experience. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. you can help, you can yeah, develop true. a Kamavingo to a many two play that type of role because they have the oh, yeah. traits for it. They have it's, the it's, past see, yeah, see, that was, see, okay, here's my thing though, Kamavinga. That's the guy. Kamavinga's see, the guy. See, see, see I, th- I think Chomeni is a good but I think in terms of the one. guy that can be like, There's okay, another one I forgot. Give him, give this guy the ball, and he can dictate things. Is the Kamavinga, because I'm looking at him and just how he's able to find passes specifically under pressure, and just how he's good technically with the ball. And I know Kamavinga, don't know that is the guy that's well, perhaps uh, going to be the. Kamavinga oh, it could be Nico Pass. The... 
if you remember at Anfield, the five two, Kamavinga was the lone pivot in that game. He controlled that game. So yeah. like yeah. he has the traits for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it can be Nico Pass because I feel like Nico Pass will also be a very good midfielder. I mean, the midfield. I mean, we're gonna just buy midfielders at this point because there's rumors that we're gonna buy some more midfielders from Argentina. Yeah, come. What? Kamavinga is the controller. Yeah, it is exactly that. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, basically, I think it's just interesting to see what it's. Um... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why are you assuming? <laughs> So, I mean, so do we know for sure that Javi Lons is going to be the manager? Oh, it's Misby. I have no clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, yeah. Look, 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 of course, Misby will say this stuff and everything. Yeah. 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 Alonso's back to him works the best with this team. And yeah, oh, you see, have... that's the thing, God. So, what is, what is Gullet's role here in all of this? He's a right oh. winger or a 10. He can play either, either or. But I feel like right now, because he's younger, because he still has pace, he should play as a right winger. We don't have so, oh, oh, okay, right okay, okay, okay. What is okay? What is Hendrik's role? What is Hendrik's position? A nine, a nine, plain and simple. Nine. Wait, wait, wait. So Hendrik, so Hendrik is, is a striker. Yeah, Hendrik is gonna get yeah. the number nine. So like, okay, so so that so, and, and Mbappe is where? No, yeah, I mean Mbappe? the number nine. I'm I'm not talking about the position. I mean the number. Like next no, season, no, no, no. What is his role? His position. In the, what is Hendrik's position in the team? He Look, be for now, I think he's gonna start in the bench for a while. He's gonna start in the bench, and but I feel like because he's so good, because he can score so many goals, eventually he's gonna get himself in the team, and I feel like he's gonna be. I, I can see Carlo next season doing a four four two with Vinny in the left, and then Hendrik and Mbappe as the two strikers, or so just so Mbappe doesn't work as a, I mean, unless, unless Mbappe wants to change, second I'm not strike. sure how Mbappe works as a striker. Although you're saying second this though, striker. you know. Okay, as a second striker. All right. I mean, I'll maybe. But as a striker for PSG, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Playing as a striker oh, for PSG. I mean, he, he, was, he, was, he wasn't playing, playing against Barca. So. Yeah, that's because he was playing left wing against Barca. Yeah. He was everywhere in that game. I didn't know where the hell he was. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go for it. Do we all really need Mbappé? Yes. 100%. They, 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 yes. They, yeah. No, 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 seriously, no, literally, literally, I after that, after that, 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 that's a game, they the, thing, the cut, thing that all Madrid fans were saying. They should have cut in my opinion, they should have cut in Kane and said, fuck um, you to Mbappé, seriously. Well, well, I, they didn't I, get, I, so, I no, 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 but, no, but, no, you can seriously, literally, old. like, but you have to just deal with, with, with the now, and the now, and the fact of the matter is that they didn't get Kane, and when you look at that game and the amount of chances that they missed, and how they were not clinical enough. They're like, oh no, no, we have to get it. But basically, it's 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 similar to what Pep did with City, um, in that season where they lost to Real. Where it's like, no, we have to be clinical. We need we need a damn goal scorer or at least a goal scoring presence. So I think that's one hundred percent. They they need a clinical. We need finisher. Mbappe. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. I Mbappe and Hendrik are both killers. I don't, AK understand, AK. I don't understand this like Hendrik thing because like. Well, he's gonna start on the bench. He's gonna be on the bench for like, yeah, of course he is. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wait, so, so he's gonna be what? Is, is he's gonna be what? Eighteen next season or seventeen? Yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. 18. Next yeah, come on, the guy's eighteen, man. The yeah, guy's eighteen. He's gonna be twenty-two when Mbappe is thirty. So like yeah, and and, and like... also and also let's let's be real. Real are not in the in the city. Real are not in the same child labor situation that Barca are in. Like Barca are now using child labor in terms of Lamin Yamal and Kobasi. Based on necessity, Real don't need to use <laughs> need to need to not abuse child labor laws. So yeah, yeah. you but so at, but at even even for, for, for wait, how old is Gule? Nine, eighteen, so nineteen. He's eighteen. Damn. He's eighteen. Yeah, the they dark. have time. They have time. But you I know. feel like Hendrik is so good and he can score so many goals. I feel like one somehow some way he will force Ancelotti to say, "Well, hey, bro, no, 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 no. I, See, I'm goals. You need to play." This thing, this thing about Hendrik though is. I'll believe it when I see it. It's all good doing that for Palmeiras in the Brazilian League. It's all doing that enduring like friendlies. La Liga, UCL, okay, that, Copa is, that, is, that, is, that is a whole different level right now. Okay, no, let's see what yeah, he does with Copa America. Clouds, but even for, for Copa America as well, let's see what he does against Argentina, Uruguay, the very best teams. So my thing for Andrew Columbia. is like, don't put any kind of unnecessary pressure on an 18 year old who has yet to play at this level of football. So until he proves it at this level, we can't say anything. Same thing for, for Gulera as well. Talented player. 
We've seen his highlights. But YouTube comes to different from like, okay, you're not actually really having to now ball now and now say what's up. So for all of these mm. guys, it's, I mean, but look, see, as I said again, Real are in a great place, future-wise. The issue right now is just how you set the team up. Like, what is the midfield? Actually, how the do you issue, set the team up and structure? Now, the issue for us right now is like focusing on the defensive line. You know, they might get Davies, but I hope if we get Davies, we don't sell Felix and Mendy because Mendy is our best defender. Him and him oh, and Rudiger. Wait, are one wait, of wait, our... wait, 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 wait! You're still vouching for Fela Mendy. Oh, he's good. He's a he's a better de- he's the best left back defender we have. I mean, uh, what Frank Garcia can defend you, for shit. If you if you buy Davies, you have uh, uh you have to buy wing you know, also who can also the defensive back because uh Davies is a very offensive uh uh fullback. So if you buy Davies mm. and Trent. Yeah, it's over. So you have to either choose an offensive right back or offensive uh, left back. So you cannot go for both. Ah, if they get oh, Trent, no. man. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Well, imagine oh, Trent. God, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let me, let me quickly discuss. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Half hopes nobody. United fans gassed up the black Tom cleverly. Main ass. Huh? Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't. That's just Main not. is in a shit team, okay? He's yeah, yeah, crying. come on, don't. Um, Martin Rosario. Streets confirmed Rick Ross has responded. End the stream now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he did. No, 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 no. Here's the no, no, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. We have one more topic. Wait, I, sorry, I, have, wait, sorry, I have my ice cream and my apple pie. So after we were finished here, I'm going to have my... And if it's worth... A response, then we'll, we'll do an emergency on the other channel. So if Recross's response is good enough, then then we'll have a late no, response with, on the other channel. Yeah, with all the um, with the Drake stuff, with the World War Three stuff, well, you have yeah. to do another hangout. Like, yeah, oh no, 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 no! I have to. No, no, no! We have to. We have to. But ideally, I want Kendrick to respond. Ideally, I want Kendrick to respond before I we mean, do another one. He has one. no choice. He, has he no better choice. respond. Oh no, no! Have, okay, so, okay, so last, so I'm um, Is the mic working? Is the mic? Is the mic working? So, so Smashy. So as our unofficial on unpaid um bundesliga german correspondents yeah. how long has common actually been injured for this season i, I think we're cursed i think that's come up for winning all the bundesliga <laughs> and taking all the best players which which, <laughs> which, 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 which which is fair, which is fair. <laughs> so, it's, we have no wingers left you're probably gonna start tell against arsenal who's so oh, no, no, because this is a big loss because because i told you sana is a bomb I've always been a fan of Coman. I've always been a, a yeah, huge fan Coman of, of Coman. Coman, uh, he shows up in big moments, and the game against Arsenal is a big moment. So we are so screwed. I don't know what our midfield's gonna look like. Do not play Goreska and Lima together ever again. So, 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 but, 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 but on Coman. So, do you think there's an injury issue with Coman? Yeah, he, he's so injury prone. I don't think I I don't know if he recovers from that edge. If he if he there are rumors that uh, we're gonna sell him this summer because a lot of players are gonna get sold because this team isn't uh, working with these players together. It's so I think Kuman could be finished with by Munich and could be sold this summer. So he was would you sell him would you be happy for him to be sold if you will make the decision would you sell him i say no he's too talented to, to be no, sold he, no, Dude, they have matthias tell yeah matthias tell is still too young still too young yeah, who, 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 no i mean yeah he's there he's a he's young player but do you know how yeah. good common is and also, sorry, yeah. i know risk right now i risk coming over janabri and sunny right now 100 yeah. percent. both purple patch merchant Kuman always uh, uh, in the biggest moments when we need. He scored in the last day also. He was, he was the first uh, goal scorer that put pressure on Dortmund to win it. So I hope he recovers. I hope he's at least ready for the Euros because France, let's face it, he's one of France's most consistent oh, players. No, no, no. Like this is. That- so- he is he should be he should be ready for the like he's out for the rest of the season but he should be ready for the years but see i think <laughs> of, i feel just uh sorry for him because he was he came back he just came back in the first game 45 minutes f- played 
Wait, how long has he been injured this season? For how long has he been injured this season? Uh, six months, six, but three to six months, at least, with all the energy. He was always in, a, in and out this season, so he hadn't really time to uh, really recover himself. I think he needs one leg, a uh, long pause. Mm. to work, really recover himself because we because we have so many injuries at the moment we always rush the players back because we really don't have the players to play H H. so many Musala was injured in the first half of the season Sane is, was injured Noya broke a scotland yes his game sucks <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. One of the worst seasons for Bayern Munich ever. I Shout out to Love because okay, wait, hold on. Before I come to like, so Aki, so Aki, so remember when we had that combo when we said like that generation of like twenty five to thirty, yeah. eh, but really the younger guys twenty one to so actually a lot better. But then I just looks up his age. He's twenty seven. Yeah. But I think the issue with Coman is he's just been injured for so long. But whenever yeah. he's actually been fully fit. He's actually been one of those guys that of that generation of like 25 to 30, I've said, no, this guy's actually pretty damn good. It's just that injury has just not really seen us, seen him on a consistent basis. But, but do you think injuries have pretty much held him back in terms of us actually rating him to how he should be rated? Yeah, but Coleman was like, he was the next great, before Mbappe came in, he was the next great French talent, if you remember, yeah. when, Juve, yeah. when he just went at Byron. But I think the injuries, you know, I think the injuries, you know, just let him down. I think also, like, he's very good 1v1 dribbler. But very are, good. Very good. But there are, and, and, and also, the thing about it, he makes great decisions. Yeah. And he, yeah. he knows when to cross, when to pass. Yeah. Yeah, he knows when to cross. He's very good. He's the opposite of Dembele in that. Yes. You know? <laughs> no, no. Literally, he is the polar opposite of Dembele. Like, if you just look at them, the polar opposite of Dembele, it's common. But yeah. Exactly, but I just think like sometimes his final action, like his crossing, sometimes a bit inconsistent. Like I've seen some wild crosses from him. But yeah, I think it's mainly the injuries because he's good. His defensive work rate is also very good. He can take wingers. He can take opposition wingers out of the game just with defensive work. So I think mm. it is unfortunate what's gone out with him because I would say he's one of Bayern's most important players. I think yeah. for the game against Arsenal, he would have been very important. Very important. Because, because you can't rely on Gnabry and Sane. You can't. Gnabry is also injured, so who are they going to play there? Thomas Muller in 2024. Yeah. So, so, so wait, but, but, okay, but, but, but looking at the Euros, do you think that France really need him in those Euros? I mean, he's better than Dembele on the right. Hell yes. The, um, the other thing is... They don't have anybody else on the way apart from Musa Diaby. So, um, yeah. He, he needs to be there for France, but Deschamps picks Dembele anyways over him. So, like, if it's. And, and, and that's why France is winning those Euros, bro. Because if Dembele is starting on those Euros, France, France ain't doing nothing, bro. I mean, respect the man. Dude, I'm telling you. Guys, I, 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 I can't get respect on that, Dom. But, like, for me, Coman, like, you see, you know what it is? Dembele has more raw talent than Coman. Coman is just has a better footballing brain and football. Yeah, IP. yeah, yeah. But I Wait, mean, he's I, a better decision maker. Yeah, 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 yeah he makes better decisions, and so especially in that in that position, you need to make the, the right <laughs> decisions. So. Yeah, I mean, I I'm seeing rumors that you know they're planning on calling a barcode. For the stop right. it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop well, it! Come on, man. Barcode is not that bad. That's oh quite good. Barcode is actually pretty good. For I don't know why you. <laughs> okay, hate okay, barcode. okay. We can't have barcode in it. So starting at the euros, bro. No, I don't know why you hate barcode. Okay, why, we're trying to get some Mbappe in euros. Okay, we can't. Okay, we can't win a euros with freaking barcode, bro. Wait, 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 barcode, wait, wait, wait <laughs> barcode had more impact on the Barcelona game than Mbappe. King of it, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not his type to shine, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Barcode's type to shine. Barcode is there, I think. Um, yeah, it's just for coma. It's just unfortunate. I mean, injuries, but because he's a very clutch player as well. But yeah, I mean, hopefully he comes back well because he, you, the friends, need him for yours. Um, Zombies, talk to me about um, Kingsley Coman. 
zombies. Um, what's it called? Uh, Black Seal thoughts on El Coman. Uh, I think this is a big loss for Bayern mm. because now I really don't know who in the hell they are going to play in that position. They're going to have to play Musiala now and put Thomas Muller in the middle. And that oh is just su- spells trouble. That just spells trouble, trouble, trouble. I think it's time that Bayern in the summer, they need to consider buying new uh, wingers. Because, I mean, uh, you know, so people forget Sané is also injured. He's busy recovering from an injury, but he's yeah. forcing himself to play. He's Ganabri not 100% fit, so he cannot, I don't think he can play 90 minutes for. Exactly, and and you might have to go 120 and, and possibly penalties, so you cannot play him uh, that whole game. You, eventually, I guarantee you, eventually Matias Till has to come on from the bench. He has to. I mean, what what other choice do you have? <laughs> you have no other choice. Matias still has to play, and he can score. He's a very, very good goal scorer. I'm not saying he's good, but I just but, don't think he's he's not as ready as as Coman is. Coman no, is he's, he's he's, he's too crucial. He's too crucial. You but know? I, I and, and that's like, why it's going to be a huge, huge loss for Bayern in the second leg, not having Coman there. But I, f- I feel like Bayern in, in this summer they need to go for somebody like Karim Adeyemi. They need to go for somebody like an Adeyemi or a Take Kubo or somebody like that that can be that new Ribery or Iron Robin type player. And, 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 and can also save it. Didn't they and buy one already? Fucking midfield. Jim Retzka, leave my club. I but cannot say Jim Retzka. <laughs> Respect still. <laughs> with that um, okay, guys, look. Oh, so, so, guys, look. Guys. Oh yeah, yeah, zombies go for it, zombies go for it. Yeah, I think Comer is gonna be a a big loss for Bayern. Like, they, they, it, yeah, no, here's the bro. If if these guys are relying on that bomber Sane, bro, then they're screwed. No, <laughs> he, 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 no, relying on Sane, man, you pretty much might as well just call the end of the season. Yes. I mean, hell, it is the end of the season for him. I mean, it's not like they're winning in the league anyway. But yeah, Comer, Comer was just one of those players where you know you know he could score, and the decision making you know is is there. Oh, that guy's Sane. actually really good. Yeah, he, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sane, I forgot about him. Know, Kenny, wait, 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 what's his name? Iwan Kunda, Iwan Kunda. Iwan Kunda, yeah. He just goes bang us, by the way. I mean, I mean, people are saying, but Keza has not been the same after his injury. No, nah, he's he's yeah, his injury. Ever he's since not. Keza had that injury, he has not been the same whatsoever. Nah. I don't know if it was a serious injury, so. Yeah, before the injury, he was. Wait, really don't, don't they have that Brian guy as well? Yeah, Brian Zaragoza. Brian Zaragoza. Brian Zaragoza. Yes, yeah. yeah. actually good. Uh, but, he's really, he's really but he good. just but came Tuchel, in now. No, I mean, I mean basically, if if Brian have the right man manager next year, you know, because obviously the goat Tuchel is going to be believing. Though, does he believe oh with UCL? But who in the who in the fuck are they the day getting? Day he leaves my club. That's the thing too. I'm gonna party. The day he leaves my club, I'm gonna party. You know, and, and I don't know what he said. Wait. Has anybody considered that if Nagosman wins the Euros, he's not coming back? Because that's the one they want. Yeah, they're saying if Nagelsmann Nagelsmann back to back. Oh, no, 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 yeah, he's definitely leaving yeah. Germany. He's definitely leaving Germany. Oh, no, oh, no. So it's, 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 if Nagelsmann wins the Euros, he wouldn't go, go back to Bayern. He, he, why would he? Take yeah. go to the World Cup. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Like, no, no, no. If, now, pause. If they get down on both things and beg him to come back, now what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you, know, just, you, you know what? <laughs> so, shout out to Matsu Rosa. Look, I know yeah, I'm a bonus. It says, it, it really disrespect is. Really <laughs> okay, okay, look. Let me listen to this now. So, guys, remember, guys, we're going to be back here Sunday, UCL preview, second leg, Sunday, 11 p.m. It no, is what no, it is. We'll see about the EPL title is. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're going to talk about no, because we have Sunday. So, no, sorry. So, UCL preview and EPL. So, remember, Arsenal against Aston Villa, Liverpool against Crystal Palace. Um, and also, oh, sorry, and we could also be celebrate. Samasi, I'm sorry, a new winner after ten, not after eleven effing years. Fuck you guys. So Fuck we could do an eleven course celebration and super promo, guys. Thursday, eleven p.m., guys. So down, remember, guys, Samasi, we may down. be doing an emergency it's hangout on the other channel if this whole rap thing is real. Peace out. One love. One love. One love. One love. One love.